I don't run marathons, I just know someone that does. So I did call on Matt today, and I asked him what he thought about these changes, hmm. and what did you say, Matt? I said pull it together. Pull it as together. As long as the water stops are where they need to be, as long as the course is 26.2, there's no complaints. It's beautiful in Cleveland. Yeah. The turns, I understand people want to qualify for Boston because it's one of those qualifiers, but the turns aren't going to slow you down that much. It's the no. long stretches in the sunshine down the Euclid Avenue that are awful because you're just like, where is this turn, you know? Right. I don't know. Pull it together. At least at the end, it looks like you got a nice long right. straightaway, which yeah. is that's, that's probably, I would imagine, ideal for yeah. a finish. Right. Um, Matt is our resident runner. Um, one way or another, and I know you do the half, and this is the sixth straight year mm -hmm. that you've done the half. He's ready, by the way been training um, you need stamina yeah to run a marathon you sure do and you also have to figure out a way yeah. to get stamina into oh, the weather into the forecast. forecast okay I was gonna say you need word. stamina to be a parent as well we're not gonna well, that of though. course yeah. you do <laughs> that's one of the things uh, hi honey I'm sure you're watching at home right now uh, yeah we'll get that in the forecast for sure okay. uh, let's take a live look right now outside yeah. traffic Ooh, Jay that looks rough on the Interbell bridge there uh, anyway we won't talk about that we've got hazy skies this is atmospheric smoke from wildfires in Alberta right now. You notice it's not crystal blue outside. Wow. We've got the haze around. So, uh, yeah. Dealing with that. Day two, right? Uh, but, you know, you're not smelling it, so it's okay. Temperatures on the cooler side today. We're in the 50. Look at that 50 downtown right now. 51 in Chardon. I was out working in the yard today. I was actually hot. I don't, you know, but then I stopped working and I was like, yeah, it is kind of chilly outside. But a lot of you enjoying this little dose of air mass. We don't get too many of these this time. You're still hanging on to 66 down in Dover right now. The wind is out of the north. It continues to be gusty. We've had gusts over 20 at times today. But versus 24 hours ago, this is what we're looking at. Temperatures down some 15 to 22 degrees over when you were watching us yesterday at this time. That is courtesy of a big old Canadian high pressure that is now settling in right over areas of Lake Huron. Notice the cooler air. The cooler side of this is out towards New England. They've got numerous areas that are under freeze warnings as you get out into Pennsylvania, New York, up into Vermont, New Hampshire, coastal New England as well. And then we deal with the frost here locally. And that is going to be a problem tonight. If you put your annuals in the ground, if you've got potted plants outside, all of that's going to need to be covered up. This goes through the overnight till 8 a.m. tomorrow. After 8 a.m. or so, we should start to warm things up. You can take those covers off. So the next 24 or 20 hours look like this. Look at the cool down. We've got very dry air in place. Dry air, remember, heats up quickly. It cools down quickly. So we're going cold. By 10 o'clock, we're in the 40s. Maybe some 30s showing up in outlying locations by midnight. In the Cleveland area, we're getting down into the 30s. Rapid warm up tomorrow morning. A couple tips for you in terms of covering the plants up. Why do we cover them up? Well, it traps the warm air from the ground inside, forms a little biome there over the plant. That'll help it out from seeing, you know, any of the frost on it. You can use sheets, tarps, blankets, cardboard. And a little tip, you don't have to do this, but if you want to go overboard, you can water them before bed and cover them up before dark. That will trap in the most heat. The water actually helps to store the feet, They'll, their heat. They'll do that down in Florida with the orange crop in the wintertime. And don't forget to remove it tomorrow morning. If you leave that on tomorrow, you may have a sad looking plant uh, by the time we get towards uh, maybe when you're getting home and you forgot about that. So a couple tips for you. National Design Mart Hour by our forecast. You see the cool down tonight. Winds will go mainly light, if not calm tonight under clear skies. High pressure setting up. Look at some of these numbers. 32 in Elyria. We're going to have to watch some of these locations. Cover up the plants. Freeze, frost, whatever it happens to be. We're thinking frost right now. Uh, those plants don't have a lot of stamina when it gets that cold outside. But tomorrow morning, Thanks to uh, the reminder in my ear. I just want to say that. Uh, anyway, tomorrow afternoon, we'll warm up quickly into the 70s. Should be a beautiful day. We'll warm up nicely because we've got high pressure heading out towards the east. Satellite picture right now, there's that murkiness in the atmosphere. This is all atmospheric smoke still trapped in our atmosphere from wildfires well out towards the west. So we're not seeing that clear blue sky. It's kind of the white milky look. We'll see a nice sunset as well. And then looking big picture, our next system's going to arrive from the west. But look at the mess out west. There's all sorts of swirls. The pattern's stuck. This low is actually retrograde. The feature to note is up in southern Canada right now. There's a frontal boundary that'll head south. It'll gather some Gulf of Mexico moisture, and that will head our way as we get into Friday and Saturday. We'll take a better look at that rainfall in the next half hour. Your Union Home Mortgage seven day forecast warm out ahead of it. Perhaps some thunderstorms around here Friday afternoon, Friday evening. Saturday, we deal with lingering showers and cooler. And there's your marathon forecast on Sunday. We're still forecasting sunshine. A cool start will be in the low 50s to start, but light wind, that's great.
great for runners, low humidity, great for runners, and we'll warm up nicely. We'll be able to showcase Cleveland with sunshine in 70s by afternoon. Yeah, that sunshine, you're going to have to remember to wear sunscreen when yeah. you're out and yeah. about. Or point. finish quickly. Yes. All right. <laughs> Thanks so much, Matt. We'll check in with you again in about a half hour or so.